Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. And that was written by Martin Luther King Jr. Actually, that's a quote by him. And the reason why I read that is because this uh, commentary is going to be about racism. And I have a very special guest with me by the name of Vamp Melody. Say hi, Vamp. Hey, guys. Okay, so what we're going to talk about is kind of a serious topic here and something that's um, that's been bothering me lately, especially. You know, I have a lot of uh, people that I play with online that are rather young, and they find it just okay to, to spew out racism. And, and, and a part of me thinks they don't even know that they're doing it. Do you run across that vamp at all where you hear, I don't know, younger people sometimes maybe say something, and it seems as though they don't even know that it's bad what they're saying? Yeah, I run across that a lot of the time, and actually I run across it from... Um, young adults actually more than just teenagers yeah and, and, and it's and it's sad and it's sad so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to be i'm going to tell you the reason why you need to be very very careful you know to what you say and how you say it you may think it's funny you may think calling somebody the n-word and if you use an a at the end it makes it okay well, you know to me at least in my mind it doesn't make it okay it, it just doesn't so and, and it goes in the reverse order too if you're black and you want to call a white guy whatever, I mean, it's not just one-sided. You know, it goes both ways. But I want it to really stop. And the more young people I talk to about it, it seems as though they don't even know. I had a conversation a while back with someone that was telling me the way that they went to school with, oh, nothing but Mexicans. Is that racism necessarily? Mm, no. But it's, it's the manner in which you say it. And the kind of the emphasis on it, you know, and the emphasis on like, oh, Mexicans, you know, that's that can be hurtful. If somebody in the party happened to be Hispanic, to me, that's insulting the way you said that. Right. Yes, it is. And the person that I was talking to about it was like, well, and I called I kind of called him out on it. And he was like, well, dude, that's not racist. And I'm like the way you're saying it. Yes, it is. It, it, it can be it can be looked at as racism, you know, and I go, you know, and I, and I told this young man and I'm like, you know, I think it's maybe your experience and, and maybe you had a bad experience with one Hispanic person. So all of a sudden you don't like them all. And that's not that's not the way you should look at things. And I think people just take a very broad picture of and, and number one, when you say Mexican, you could be, they could be any Hispanic. It doesn't have to be Mexican. It could be Puerto Rican. It could be any any Latin person at all. Right. And it's just it's just I don't know. I don't like it. I, I don't like the way it's it's. It's, it's as if you're talking down to somebody and you're being very condescending about a particular race. And I don't know about you, Vamp, but have you experienced that at all? I haven't experienced it at all, but I can give you an example. Sure. And you and the guys viewing this video can also give me feedback on it. Mm -hmm. And just it shows you, in my eyes at least, how racism is just not pretty. And if you think what I'm about to tell you is right to do, then I have no idea. But I have a friend who wanted to hang out with a friend of theirs, and they were of different race. Mm -hmm. And um, they invited their friend over to their house, and their grandparents said no, because this one particular friend was of a different race. Mm -hmm. That just, it's not right at all. No, it's not. It's, it's not at all right. And, and I know that, and you know, the, the thing about it, the, the, the thing about all of this that bothers me the most out of anything else is just pure, it's being insensitive. I know many people who will make racist comments, but I know them and I know they're not racist. I know they don't have hate in their heart for another race or anything like that, okay? But they'll still say things like whether it's the N-word or whether it's, uh, you know, calling somebody a... I don't know, just a lot of things that are completely inappropriate, you know? And I know they're not racist, but I guess they hear it so so much amongst their friends, they think it's okay to say. You know, and the reason why it's not okay to say is, is because, of, to me at least, it's because of the following. And it's like, like if you say the N-word around somebody who's black, he may not call you on it, or he may not say anything about it, but I can guarantee you in the back of his mind, he wants to. And it's hurtful. It may not be hurtful to him because hopefully in his lifetime, he didn't have to experience the racism that maybe his grandparents had to experience. 
And that's why I take it very, very personal whenever I hear somebody make any kind of racist comment. It's, it's, it's for, you know, the, the people who fought so hard to get their rights and to be equal. It's not for me. And I never mention what race I am. You, nobody really even knows the race I am, to be honest with you. And I try hard not to even mention it um, because I want to be looked at as an individual and not a race. You know, does that make sense, Vamp, at all? It does make sense, actually. Yeah, and uh, I kind of want to be raceless. You know, I want to be able to, and that's the way it should be. That's the way you should look at everybody. Why does race even matter if somebody's black, Asian, Hispanic? I mean, there was recently a video out there where some Asian kid who was getting the hell beat out of him in some back alley somewhere. Did you see that, Vamp, by the way? I actually saw it. I mean, how, just absolutely positively disgusting. I mean, it it's like it's not human. It, it really isn't. And we all need to be a lot more sensitive when it comes to race. We, there are certain words that you absolutely should not say. It's not cool to say N-word in any way, shape or form. It's not cool to copy somebody's accent that maybe has a little bit of broken English because they are at least making the attempt to learn English. You know, um, it's just not cool. Treat everybody equally. You know, if, if anything we can do, if we can make a difference and have everybody get along and and I don't know, and just coexist. I mean, life is so short where we, we are all walking the planet together during this time, during this hundredth year span or whatever it's going to be, you know, and then we, it's a blink of an eye, you know, when it comes to eternity, right? And that's why it's that, just... yeah, and that's why that, that quote, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. On, only love can do that. And that's pretty much telling you, be kind. Kindness is going to change anybody's perception on you or on anybody else. I don't know. I just really wish it would stop. And I, I want to go ahead and let all you guys know out there to speak up. If somebody is racist in the lobby that you're in, at school, at work, at home, or whatever, be brave and speak up and say, you know what, don't talk like that in front of me. And I guarantee you, the person you tell that to is going to always remember you. Because not many people speak up like that. It shows a lot of courage for you to do that. And you're doing what's right. And because you're doing what's right, good things are going to happen to you. Right? You have anything you want to say as we wrap this up, Vamp? Um, just, you pretty much hit the nail on the head, but as you were saying, speaking up takes a lot of courage and it proves that you not only care about yourself, but you care about others because if you speak up for yourself, maybe this individual won't go around saying it anymore. Right. And even if you don't take it to heart, somebody else could. So you might have saved somebody else a hard time. Exactly. Exactly. You know. And uh, this has been Serious Drama, along with Vamp Melody. Yep, yep. <laughs> be kind, be good, be safe. And remember, uh, remember these words. You be careful what you say. Some things you just should not say. I'm out. Hey, fucking monitor, I hope you know your whole team, our whole team just reported you, dude. Love how you freaking get one shot with everything. And then I also love how you can knife when you're not even knowing where the person is. You're a fucking cheater and monitor. You fucking moron. I hope you die in a car accident.